Hello. You'll be happy to know that this is the last part where I'll be making a video for this paper. Alright, I'm as I mentioned earlier, I'm only going to go through certain parts of the paper, not the whole paper, even though it seems like it. Alright, so the last part I'm going to go through is the true false not stated part five comprehension one, which is from page pages six to seven. Okay, it looks something like this. Okay, turn over to this page. Alright, I have already input uh, the worksheet itself into the PowerPoint slide. I think if I point it this way, I'm pointing to exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, cool, right? Okay, so this table shows a graph, obviously. Uh, it shows the number of companies in various types of industries in Singapore, 2011, 2015, 2016. As you already know, your Achilles heel. Achilles heel means that your weakness mathematics is in here because there's a lot of numbers here and you obviously have to do some calculation all right i'm so sorry i didn't set this paper but n levels it might come out all right so the first thing question for t1 so open up your paper like this like butterfly right? or open up right okay so so you can see the question paper and the answer so, uh, the, the the question side by side okay 41 the transportation industry transportation so my my finger my pen will be there already transportation industry expanded expanded means yeah okay for for this part they will test you based on your vocab they will use expanded they will use uh, similar to they will say um uh had a slight increase you must know all these kind of words how to know all these kinds of words you do more homework you go through more papers and we 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 um experience more vocab Got it? That's how we improve. And hopefully, one of these might come out for N levels this year. Okay, so 41. The transportation industry, circle, expanded the most from 2011 to 2016. Let's see. Transportation expanded the most. So from 2268, it expanded to 11,501. From the look of it, if you do the mathematics, it has expanded, and I believe it has expanded the most. Do the calculation. What is the answer? Okay, I think from here it's a bit easy lah. You don't even need to do calculations. So the answer is true. Okay, forty-two. The finance and insurance industry. Finance. Finance and insurance. Ah, is there? Okay. For this, they didn't rephrase it. Okay, so it's easy. So you can zoom in on what numbers we are supposed to look at. Finance and insurance industry is the only industry to suffer a continuous decline. Continuous means it keeps on going. You know that's 2011, 2015, 2016, right? So it's 2011, 2015, decline. Decline means go down. Expand means go up. Okay, Improvement is go up. Okay, So decline and decline. Okay. Is it the only industry? Let's look. It has decreased. Okay, so let's look at manufacturing. Decrease not? Decrease, decrease. Obviously, it's wrong. Manufacturing also decreased continuously. Don't need to look at others. Just put it as false. Got it? As long as it's proven false, just put it as false. Okay, so that's where. For false, there is a correct answer. The correct answer here is finance and insurance industry was not the only industry to suffer a continuous decline because there's also manufacturing. There's also, there's also, um, what else has declined? There's also real estate. You see, 1050 down to 636 and down again. Continuous decline. Any more? Don't have. So there are three industries that had continuous decline so therefore it is false it's not not stated huh? not stated means that they didn't see anything about it okay we'll go to a not stated later 43 the manufacturing industry manufacturing the first one decline steadily well, decline means go down steadily means it didn't shoot, suddenly go down it's slow and slow steady okay from 2011 to 2016 so from 2383 went down to 2245 one to 2105. I believe that would be 
steady because as you can see we compare to transportation you see how drastic it went up from 2000 went up to 8000 wow went up to 11000 uh, that one is not steadily so for 43 the answer is true it declined steadily okay question 44 in no more than four industries no more than four industries the number of companies fluctuated from 2011 to 2016. In no more than four industries, the number of companies fluctuated from 2011 to 2016. Okay. In no more than four industries. So they are saying that maximum was four where the number of companies see all these numbers are the number of companies that are in the industry manufacturing construction how many companies there are okay so and they said fluctuated this is the vocab that they use here fluctuate means to up down up down up down it doesn't stay it, it didn't maintain it fluctuate as i can see no industry has the same number throughout as you can see if it didn't fluctuate for manufacturing, it will be 2383, 2383, 2383. Means it didn't fluctuate. Let me see. Hmm. The answer here is false because all the industries fluctuated. All the industries had changes in the numbers of companies from 2011 to 2016 okay so the answer here is false number 45 the table shows that singapore's economy is very competitive over the years this is singapore yes it does show all the industries yes but how do you know that it's competitive is there any indication here no obviously this one is a good example of not stated they didn't say anything about it. How do you know? It's not even false eh? because they didn't even say anything about it. So, they didn't say, not stated. 45. Question 46. Between 2011 and 2015. Okay, between the first two. Eh? The information and communications, okay, expanded the most. Hmm. So, between 2011 to 2015. So, you see the two rows. 2011, 2015. Do your mathematics. 2011 to 2015. So this one, 3837, 5348. So if you calculate, it's about 1,400. Uh, okay, let's look. The answer would be false if there's something else that increased by even more. Okay, let's look. Let's look. 1,400. Now we're looking at 1,400. It should be increase uh, increase manufacturing decrease as you can see um construction decrease retail increase okay by five six went up to six five that's about about 900 only no transportation increased by five thousand so the answer here obviously is false because transportation was even more it expanded even more than communications Okay, so 46 is false. Because there's another industry that expanded more. Therefore, it's not the most. Lah. Okay. 47. Between 2015 and 2016, the food and beverage industry shrunk more than the arts and entertainment industry. Hua. So now you look at F&B, food and beverage, between 15 and 16. So, students, take note. This is where they want to make you tired in your brain. Okay, you need to take note of a lot of data. Okay, so now we focus last two rows, 15, 16. F and B, put your finger there. Okay, I'm circling it. Okay, circle, F and B. And also, arts and entertainment. Arts and entertainment, all the way to the bottom. F and B, arts and entertainment, two rows, the last, two last rows. Okay, okay F and B, 30382965. So it, it reduced by about a hundred okay, plus minus uh, you can do the math okay us and entertainment three five zero one three four seven eight there will be about 
33 33 so obviously fmb decrease more so the answer here is true this is where mathematics is important do your mathematics listen to your teachers anyways 48 The decline in the number of retail trade firms is due to the growing popularity of online shopping. Did it say anything? Look, anything about online shopping? How the retail trade went up first and then went down from 2015 to 2016? No, they didn't say anything. They didn't say the reason. They just said that it increased and decreased in number of companies. The answer here is for 48, not stated. Understand? If you don't understand anything, please put it down in the. I think there's a YouTube link here, or just WhatsApp me. All right, tell me what what question and that you have. I hope I have been able to answer, address all the queries. But if you still have any questions, call me up or text me. Okay, all right. Question forty nine. Between twenty eleven and twenty sixteen, so across, the construction industry experienced zero net growth. Zero net growth. Okay, another vocab. Zero net growth means, for example, uh, today Mr. Anan um, save five dollars. Tomorrow, I use up five dollars extra from the next day's um, pocket money. So today I got extra five dollars, but the next day I overspend by five dollars. So do I have anything extra in my bank account? Don't have because I plus five. Previously, but I minus five the day after. That's the zero net growth overall. Do I have anything extra, or deficit, or or anything less? Don't have. Okay, so that's why it means zero net growth. Whatever I have extra, and whatever I minus, it must be the same. Okay, let's look at construction industry. Three three eight seven to three two six one, and then it went back up to three three eight seven. That's what it means. It went down and it went up back by the same number. So the answer here is true. How would a student know? You would have watched my video, and you would have understood what is zero net growth. Question fifty. The real estate industry, real estate, okay, is the smallest industry because there are not enough land in Singapore. Did it say anything? Obviously not, right? Okay, so or is not stated. Okay, things that are not informed, not not in, not included in this um, uh, information chart, just say that it's not stated. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this part of the paper. I hope you have enjoyed the paper as much as I've enjoyed printing it for you. Let's look forward to the next set of papers. Keep working hard. We will get through this. SG United.